Hey buddy, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Colleen Welsh and I am a coach for freelance writers. If you're familiar with my content, then you probably already know that the first thing that I tell people who wanna be freelance writers is that they need to choose a niche. One of the top questions I get from aspiring freelance writers is how do I choose a niche and what are some niche ideas for new freelance writers? If you're in the same boat, don't worry. I got you, buddy. Keep watching to learn how to choose a niche and the best niche ideas for beginners. So when I was a new writer, I made the same mistake that lots of freelance writers make, which is that I didn't choose a niche. I was desperate for money. After all, I was living in LA and living in LA is not cheap. So I applied for every single freelance writing job that came my way. I wrote for a Japanese tourism website, history blog, a local plastic surgeon. I was all over the place. As a result, I wasn't communicating my expertise in any particular field. And since I lacked expertise, no clients were willing to pay me more than eight cents per word for my work. And one day, as I was staring into the screen of my MacBook, it hit me. Getting freelance writing clients is all about branding. After all, I have always purchased Apple products. Even though they are more expensive, I believe they are better. Are they better? I don't know, but Apple is so good at communicating their expertise in their field that I've totally bought into it. All I needed to do was communicate that I was good at one thing. If I could do this, I would have no trouble finding high paying work. I would be Apple. Around the same time, a trip to Marshalls clued me in to how big the beauty industry really is. If you walk through the beauty department at any discount store, you're gonna see hundreds of beauty brands you've never heard of. These companies all have websites and all websites need written content. Two important things happened here. I realized the power of expertise and communicating that expertise. Plus I developed an abundance mindset. It wasn't until I went all in on beauty copywriting that my freelance writing business really took off. While I was dithering about in a variety of niches, my income maxed out at $1,700 per month. Once I made the switch to beauty copywriting only, my income jumped up to $4,000 per month. At my peak of freelance writing, I was hanging out at $6,000 to $8,000 per month, working less than 20 hours per week. The lesson here, you must choose a freelance writing niche if you want to level up your business. All right, so now let's talk about how to choose a freelance writing niche. Step one, make a list of everything you know about and everything that interests you. Some things to include might be any jobs you've had. For example, before working as a freelance writer, I worked in marketing at a beauty brand. What you studied in school. For example, I studied English and anthropology and I got a minor in classics. Your hobbies. For example, my hobbies include songwriting and dancing. Subjects you're interested. For example, I'm interested in music and books. Step two, tie all those subjects to an industry. So for example, if you're a person who is interested in this particular subject, what do you buy that supports that? So if my hobby is dancing, what am I gonna buy that's gonna support that hobby? Maybe it's tap shoes, maybe it's an ankle brace because I'm old. The important thing here is that you're tying the subject to a money-making industry because money-making industries have businesses who have marketing budgets. I guess this is also a good time to mention that if you're not familiar with my content, we are talking about copywriting and content writing. So you're writing blog posts for companies. You're not writing editorial content or journalism articles. So if you're interested in that, I am sorry. That's not what we're talking about. Anyways, so then you're going to think of some potential clients for all of those subjects. If you can't think of anyone who would pay you to work in a particular niche, that is not a good niche. You want to set yourself up for success. Like if you're interested in dragons, but you can't find anyone who's gonna pay you to write about dragons, then that's not a niche you should choose. And don't laugh because somebody asked me that once. Step three, choose a niche with potential clients that interests you. You'll be writing about this niche every single day, so you better like it. And remember, you're not married to your niche. If you try one niche and it doesn't work out, you can just pick another one. You live and learn. So now I wanna talk about what the difference is between a writing niche and a service. There's a lot of information out there about how to find a profitable writing niche, but they often count writing niches and services as the same thing. This confuses a lot of aspiring freelance writers, so I just wanna set the record straight. Your niche is the industry that you work in. It's the subject you write about. Your service is the type of writing you do. So think blog posts, white papers, 
product descriptions. I recommend that new writers choose both a niche and a service to specialize in. For example, as a new writer, I wrote blog posts for the beauty industry. Blog posts were my service, beauty was my niche. As you grow your expertise, you can either expand your niche or your services. For example, you might start your career writing video scripts for cryptocurrency firms. As you grow your skills, you might start writing video scripts for other industries. Or you may expand your business for writing other services in the cryptocurrency industry. In my opinion, it's easier to expand your services than your niche. Why? Because you can just upsell your current clients instead of finding new clients in another industry. But if you're spectacular at your service, you may find that that leads to referrals in other industries. Go with the flow and see where your career takes you. Okay, so let's get into the main event here. Freelance writing niches for beginners. Now, you don't have to do one of these niches on this list, but I just want to give you some ideas of what's out there and what's possible. Number one, finance. Few people understand finance, but everybody has questions about it. Thus, there is a great need for content in this niche, and it's not gonna go away anytime soon. The best part, finance companies usually have a lot of funds to pay their freelance writers well. So if you understand finance, please do not sleep on this niche. And if you don't believe me, here are some examples of job postings I found at Upwork in finance. Number two, is blockchain slash cryptocurrency. I don't really know the difference between the two, but I hear it's a good niche. Cryptocurrency is a division of the finance industry that few financiers even understand. Can you wrap your head around blockchain and explain it to a layperson? Then you'll do very well in this niche. A quick search for cryptocurrency on Upwork brought up these job postings. Number three is technology. Few people have the knowledge that this niche requires plus great writing skills. So if you have both, it's your time to shine. Number four is software as a service or SaaS, 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 I don't know. Software as a service is a type of technology company that licenses out its software. I had to read what that was off my computer. Sorry, but think platforms like Adobe or Oracle. If you have experience working in this field, this is a great freelance writing niche. Number five is alternative health. You don't need me to tell you that the healthcare industry in the United States is all kinds of messed up. As a result, people are turning to alternative health therapies more and more. Like the alternative health industry is booming right now. Need ideas for potential clients? Head to your local health food store and write down all the brands that you see there. Or just like look up herbal supplements on Amazon Amazon. Trust me, there are more clients in this niche than you could ever dream of. Number six is cannabis and CBD. Both of these niches are exploding right now. Can you write about cannabis in a compelling way? Then you'll do well in this industry. Word of warning, a lot of people are trying to get into this niche, so you better know your stuff so you can have a leg up on the competition. Seven is mental health. People are finally talking about the once taboo subject of mental health, and there's no shortage of companies looking to capitalize on this. Do you have a degree in psychology? Are you a certified mental health counselor? Then you'll do especially well in this freelance writing niche. Number eight is education. You can make bank in the education niche. Think student loan servicers, universities, and other online learning platforms. You can also create courses for coaches and thought leaders. And not that I condone this, but you can actually write research papers for students. Number nine is real estate. The real estate industry is doing especially well right now. So if you're interested in real estate, this could be a great fit for you. Bonus points if you take in real estate courses or you're a licensed real estate agent. Number 10 is outdoor recreation. This industry is doing crazy well thanks to COVID. So if you love outdoor recreation, rock climbing, kayaking, riding bikes, whatever, and you're good at writing, this is a great niche for you. Number 11 is pets. Thanks to the stay at home orders in 2020, pet adoptions skyrocketed. Now all those new pet owners need supplies for their furry friends and the pet industry is booming. So if you love pets and writing, this could be a great niche for you. Number 12 is gardening. You don't need me to tell you that people love their plants. If you're a plant mom or dad, you can turn your passion and knowledge about plants into cash by writing about it. Number 13, this is the last one, is home improvement and decor. People have been spending a lot of time at home lately. If you undertook a home improvement project recently, you are certainly not the only one. I know that every time I've been to Home Depot lately, it's been absolutely bumping. This industry is booming, so companies will be vying for readers' eyes. That means they need content writers. If you need some ideas for clients in this writing niche, look for companies that manufacture or sell the following. Hardware, house paint, yard work supplies, tools, 
furniture or lighting. I mean, just go to the Home Depot website and see what brands they carry. Or you could reach out to local contractors like roofers and then just start cold pitching. That's really just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to freelance writing niches, but I just wanna give you some ideas to get you started. But if you wanna choose a niche that's not in this video, you might be wondering, how do I know if a niche is profitable? Here's the thing. You won't know if a freelance writing niche is profitable for you until you try it out. Like I said before, if a particular writing niche doesn't work out, you can always choose another one. It's okay to choose the wrong one the first time around. Making mistakes is how we learn. No one is going to judge you. You didn't fail, you just changed direction. It's totally fine. Also, just because a niche isn't considered profitable in freelance writing circles doesn't mean you can't make bank in it. I have never seen beauty recommended as a profitable freelance writing niche. In fact, there was a lot of advice online that said, don't choose that as your niche when I started out and I did it anyways. Now I make a good living as a freelance beauty copywriter. Are you knowledgeable about the subject? Can you find clients in that industry? Then you'll be fine. So what if you still can't figure out a freelance writing niche? Then talk to me. I offer one-on-one -on -one and group coaching sessions for freelance writers. I can help you choose a niche that lights you up and fills your pockets. If you're interested in working together, visit the coaching page on my website for more info. Okay, buddies, that's it for today's video. I hope that you found this helpful. If you have any questions, you can drop them below. And if you have any other ideas for videos that you want me to cover, also just let me know. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> All right, check you later, buddy. Bye. It's a random American flag in the background, but. It wasn't until I went all in on beauty copy. Ooh. <laughs> blog post for my service. <laughs> I am so sorry about those noises if you can hear that. It's like every time I try to do, like either meditate or record a video, like the yard work begins. I don't know what the universe is trying to tell me. All right, buddy, I hope that... <laughs>